Hey everyone, it's Ms. Bell here again in the science lab and today we're talking about heating and cooling again. And with this little demonstration, I'm going to be using candles, all sorts of different kinds, and using fire to heat up those candles and melt that wax. And so we're able to see the candles start in a solid form and then get heated into liquid and then um, the flame will either run out or I'll blow it out and then I'll turn back into a solid and that's all due to heating and cooling of that wax so here we go Here you can see my number four candle. The flame has already ran out because the wick just wouldn't continue burning anymore, but you can see all that reshaped wax. So the fire lit up the wax, it melted it, it ran down the candle, and then it started to um, kind of build up on top of each other down here. And because the fire ran out and it got away from the heat, it started to turn back into a solid. But over here, my fire is still going. You can see the top of my candle is in its liquid state. That wax is liquid, but the bottom is still solid because it's waiting to be melted after a long period of time. So with all of our candles, we are able to see that heat energy from lighting the wicks with a match. And we're able to see the candle wax start as a solid, then heat, heat, heat up into a liquid, and then um, eventually start to cool off the further it gets away from the flame or if the flame runs out. So right now I'm gonna blow out all the candles, but first I need to get myself safe. So I'm gonna put on my safety goggles and I'm going to tie back my hair because whenever we're working with open flames, we want to always make sure our hair is away from those open flames. So hope you guys enjoyed watching all this liquidy molten candle wax. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.